Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode we are uh, we're titling VIP, mm-hmm. and you're gonna have to wait. Yep. yep. Right? We'll get to the what does this mean? Like later. why VIP? It's gonna make really no sense at first. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. First though, uh, yeah, I'm I'm a little more colorful than normal. Yep. Yeah. This is my way of saying, uh, Pastor Chris Hall, you, my friend wear some outrageous sports jackets. And this is my way of saying you are my hero. And I love you, man. You are my brother in the ministry. And uh, this is my way of saying I love you. Okay, ready? We'll move on now? Okay. Okay, here we go. So in this episode, we want to talk about uh, Marty Luther's evening and morning prayer. Mm -hmm. His evening and morning blessing. Um, Now, when it comes to praying, sometimes we don't have a routine. It took Mm -hmm. me actually some time to get a routine. Mm -hmm. Same Uh, here. And and if you don't have a routine, that's okay. We're going to suggest perhaps this could be a way that you could develop a routine Mm -hmm. for evening and morning prayer. Uh, It's right in your small catechism, Marty Luther's Mm -hmm. small catechism. Mm -hmm. And we're going to walk through it just briefly, uh, beginning with the morning uh, blessing, then the evening blessing, mm-hmm. and uh, really just unpack it for us all so mm-hmm. that uh, maybe this will woo you uh, into uh, praying every evening and morning mm-hmm. uh, using uh, the small catechism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, ready? Set. Three, two, one. Go! Blast off. <laughs> morning prayer. Mm-hmm. So, Marty Luther says here in the morning, when you get up, Make the sign of the Holy Cross and say, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. What's up with that, Deaconess? Yeah. We're starting the day mid-sentence. Mid-sentence. Yeah. Incomplete sentence. (laughs) Yeah. And And it's really special because actually the beginning of that sentence uh, started on a very special day at your baptism, at our baptisms. And uh, that's where our Lord said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And you are marked with the Holy Cross upon your head and upon your heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Marking you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. So Mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning and you Mm -hmm. remember not only who you are, but whose you are. Exactly. You belong to. Jesus. Jesus. Yep, mm-hmm. you're his. Mm-hmm. Resting in those nail-scarred hands. Yeah. Yep, so you get to go into the day uh, remembering that you are a baptized child mm-hmm. of God. The only identity that will endure forever. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then after that, right? Mm-hmm. We have options here. <laughs> then kneeling or standing, repeat the creed and the Lord's Prayer. Mm-hmm. So then kneeling or standing. So uh, Marty Luther, he realizes that uh, really the Christian life is not just about the soul. Mm-hmm. It's about the body. Yep. We are embodied mm-hmm. spirits, souls. Mm-hmm. And we live the Christian life as body and soul. Right. Yep. yep. And so he involves the whole body then with devotion. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And so what's what's up with the uh, kneeling? Kneeling. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I mean to me, it's, it's, it seems as though like that's a posture of a beggar. Mm-hmm. You know, nothing in my hand I bring simply to the cross I cling. I cling. Yeah. Uh, that we are, we are beggars. Mm-hmm. This is true. You know, the yeah. last words that Luther uh, wrote uh, that were found actually in his, uh, in his coat pocket uh, mm-hmm. after he died, you know, that we are beggars. Mm-hmm. You know, that we have nothing to give but everything to receive. And yeah. prayer is where we receive, not just for ourselves, but for for everyone around us. Yeah. Yeah, we get to claim gifts for mm-hmm. uh, for people in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the one, kneeling is what we're more familiar with, with prayer, but the standing, standing is what's yeah. really, really special and a beautiful reminder because... Um, it's like the opposite know, of beggar. Yeah. It's, we're, we're equals um, with? With, with Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's all because we've been marked with... Uh, his name in holy baptism is because we've been marked with his cross on our forehead and upon our heart that then we're now getting to be wrapped up in him and um, have the same status as son of God um, yeah. with him. Holy yeah. as he is holy, perfect mm-hmm. as he is ho- perfect. 
Mm -hmm. uh, righteous as he is righteous. Mm -hmm. That we have the same privileges and rights mm -hmm. and responsibilities as the Son of God himself. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. we have uh, ringing in our ears, you are my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. Yeah. That's what was spoken at our baptisms. And it's it, really tough to wrap your brain around that one. Uh-huh. That we are actually, uh, yeah, on the same level as Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. He's the one that, uh, that, that brought us up. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So then when we're asking our father in heaven, we're, we're getting to stand, stand next to Jesus. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's beautiful. It is. Um, and then standing uh, or kneeling, repeat the creed and mm -hmm. the Lord's prayer. So the creed. What's up yeah. with the creed? The creed. I mean, it's the Pledge of Allegiance, really. It's saying, who is this God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit who baptized me? Well, he's father. He's the one who created me, son who redeemed me, and, and Holy Spirit who makes me holy. Yeah. And uh, so it's not just saying, I just believe in a God, but I believe in this God who yeah. has made me his own. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, he, uh, I, I, hands on from womb to tomb, <laughs> this triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. And uh, then the Lord's Prayer, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, Luther, he said that was uh, the greatest martyr on earth it's because, true yeah, it's be, true because it was either not used or when it was used it was just repeated uh without any thought whatsoever mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, the lord's prayer is really the perfect prayer it is it covers all the bases mm -hmm. um for this life and the life in the world to come mm -hmm. yeah it's really the family prayer mm -hmm. uh the creed uh first spoken at your baptism and the lord's prayer first prayed at your baptism. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. These are what are given to us as the baptized children of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now we get to pray with Jesus, our Father. Our <laughs> The pirate prayer. The pirate prayer. I think I've used that joke before, but that's okay. I think so, but uh, <laughs> we should start a tally. <laughs> our Father. Yes, we don't pray alone, right? We right. pray with the, the whole Christian church in heaven and on earth and yes. especially with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So Lord's Prayer, and then uh, if you choose, you may also pray this little prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. So the first thing we do is we uh, we thank, really, Jesus for keeping us from all harm and danger. Mm -hmm. Because when we're sleeping, we are the most vulnerable. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, we don't know what's going on around us. Mm -hmm. Right. We're in la-la land. <laughs> Dreamland. Yes. But for me, having a nightmare. Uh-huh. have those often. Oh, they scare me. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Mm -hmm. So we're thanking God for keeping us from all harm and danger. Mm -hmm. uh, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, uh, that all my doings in life may please you. So what are we praying for there, Deaconess? Yeah. I mean, we're praying both that we'd be kept from doing what displeases our Father in heaven, but... Also that we would, that all we do, whether it's homework, eating our cereal, uh, you name it, is uh, pleasing in his sight. That we live as his baptized children. That we uh, walk as as his beloved sons and daughters. Yeah, the Ten Commandments tell us not just uh, what we have done is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. That's the negative side of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. There's the positive side, as we've mm -hmm. talked about before in other episodes, that, you know, here is what is pleasing to the Father. Mm -hmm. And so Luther actually says at the end of uh, the morning devotion, uh, go joyfully to your work, singing a hymn like that of the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. uh, because the ten, ten Commandments tell us as we go into the day, what is going to please the Father? We don't have to scratch our heads and wonder, uh, is this going to please them? Is that going to please them? We don't have to guess. Mm -hmm. Ten Commandments give us the God-pleasing works. Yes. That just make them, that makes our father so, so tickled, mm -hmm. so happy, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, for into your hands, I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. What's mm -hmm. up with that, Deaconess? Yeah. I mean, it's, that's beautiful. It's basically going, okay, Father, everything is in your hands. So I don't have to worry about it getting lost, mm -hmm. falling through the cracks. Because uh, if I hold on to everything, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> yeah. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're saying that everything in your hands, my life and all that I am, mm -hmm. all that I have, mm -hmm. you're going to use 
for your glory and my benefit. Yeah. Yep. Because mm-hmm. if it's in my hands, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But placing it all into His hands, we get to go into the day with the confidence that uh, that He's gonna He's gonna use all all of this for 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 good. Yes. For 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 my good, my mm-hmm. eternal, everlasting good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Because He's God. I'm not. You're not. <laughs> and he's the, he's the author uh, of, of my story and the yes. author of your story, yes. uh, your story, mm-hmm. uh, right? I mean, he mm-hmm. he is he is the one who is writing the script, not 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 me. I'm not in control, right? And actually, I don't want to be in control. <laughs> nope. Oh man, no. We we pray uh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, mm-hmm. right? Amen. And then uh, let uh, your holy angel be with me. That the evil foe may have no power over me. Here's why we are talking about VIP. Yep. Um, you are a VIP. Mm-hmm. I am. So is Deaconess. That is because we have bodyguards. The holy angels. And only VIPs get bodyguards. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. Taylor Swift and uh, President Biden. Mm-hmm. You know, all these important people. They get bodyguards. Well, we have angelic bodyguards. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. We are God's very important people. Yes, we are. And he provides us with uh, protection from the evil one. Yeah, every day. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, that is the morning prayer. Uh, the uh, evening blessing, the evening mm-hmm. devotion. Uh, same thing with, you know, making the sign of the cross and mm-hmm. uh, saying in, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Then kneeling or standing, repeat the creed, Lord's Prayer. But then the evening prayer is a bit different. So we're going to go through this briefly. Yeah. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong. Mm-hmm. And graciously keep me this night. So we pray, uh, giving thanks to God that he uh, graciously kept us this day. Mm-hmm. There's a lot that can go wrong every day. Yes. And we're praying so, that as we get to uh, bedtime, we look back and so much could have gone wrong and it didn't. Mm-hmm. You know, because our Lord, uh, he brought us through. He safe did. and sound. Yes. And But but yep. we weren't perfect during the day. No. That's why we pray for forgiveness. Forgiveness. Yeah. Yep. For a clean conscience. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, and then uh, we pray that he would keep us this night. Well, because nighttime mm-hmm. is like most vulnerable mm-hmm. for us. It is. And also, you know, it's it's a time for the devil to, to mess with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's like we're putting on the, like the spiritual nightcap with this prayer uh, to protect us from the uh, works of the evil one mm-hmm. um, who wants to hound and harass us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we pray, uh, again, into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Mm-hmm. So as we go into sleep, sleep time, where we place our lives and all that we are, all that we have into the hands of our Father who art in heaven Mm -hmm. so that we know that no matter what happens, right, Mm -hmm. we're not going to be lost. We're not going to be lost. He's not going to drop, he's not going to drop the ball. He's not going to drop (laughs) us. Yeah, that's, I'm more, I'm I'm more concerned about that. He's not going to drop us. Mm -hmm. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Um, And then we have uh, that prayer for the bodyguard. You know, let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Mm -hmm. So we get to pray for the bodyguard, the angel, Mm -hmm. the guardian angel, once Mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Who stands guard over our beds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. So what's beautiful is, is, you know, the morning, the evening blessing, the morning, Mm -hmm. evening prayer devotion only takes, you know, three to five minutes mm-hmm. and yet it really uh just puts us in a frame of mind that we are cared for yes that we have a father in heaven who delights in us mm-hmm. he dotes over us mm-hmm. he is completely and utterly for us and he goes uh into the day with us mm-hmm. uh we get to go into the nighttime with him and really every morning we wake up as really a um a practice for our own resurrection day uh, on the last day, our own Easter morning, mm-hmm. when we'll get up from our graveyard bed, brand spanking new, uh, more colorful, more uh, more shiny than this uh, sports jacket. We'll be blinging and singing uh, with the glory of our God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And then every night we get to practice for our death. Yes. You know, when we will be uh, tucked into our graveyard bed, mm-hmm. right? Our soul with Jesus, Jesus our body. Our bodies placed into our graveyard beds, mm-hmm. but we know that our bodies are are just 
you know, temporarily there. It's just a sleep, sleep. Sleep, like sleep, you. sleep, sleep. Uh, on the last day, the trumpet will sound and we'll be raised uh, incorruptible, mm -hmm. imperishable. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be brought into the new heavens and the new earth and we'll get to see this one, this, 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 this God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, who is with us every step of the way home. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably get to, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll even get to meet the, the guardian angels. Yeah. Uh, you know, probably huh. named Bob. And Ed, Steve. <laughs> hey man, thanks for thanks for watching over me all those years. <laughs> That's not a guarantee, by the way. Okay. But I, I kind of like the idea. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. 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 So that's you're a VIP, and all of this morning and evening prayer is really that reminder: you're a VIP to our Lord because He put His name on you, and He made you His own, and He's taking care of you all through the day. Even giving you a bodyguard uh, to guard you as you go in and go out. So, yeah, get enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, happy praying these uh, these prayers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So God be with you as you uh, pray in the evening, pray in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, going to bed with your God, and waking up and going into the day mm -hmm. with your God. Mm -hmm. Co-workers with Him. Yeah. Amen. By His stripes, we are healed. Until next time. Cheers. Bye. Doodles. <laughs>